So therefore, once I know my weaknesses, even your physical weaknesses, you want, you know your natural desires to have sex. You know your natural desires is to eat. You know your natural desires to have all these things. Will these things, will you let these things rule your judgment? In doing what is right. I've watched so many people talk that talk. But when it was time to walk that walk, they fold. Like a church chair. They fold under pressure. We see it here in carbonation time and time again. They recite the knowledge, but under pressure, they're weak. They fall to their desires. I mean, we watched it publicly. We see the people turn and flip like pancakes. We see them. But we need to be, we need to load our mind with knowledge. Eat, sleep, shit, knowledge. This is war. And the only thing that's going to keep you focused is if you eat, sleep, this knowledge and recite it and teach it and talk it. Always be talking about the knowledge. Always stay in the knowledge. So when the shit comes, you like, it's verbatim. It's subconsciously programmed in you to do the right thing. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So when when that pretty woman comes to you, when that temptation comes to you, it's already subconsciously programmed in you to hear the voice. You hear my voice. Keep the knowledge. You can feel your desire. And when you are able to deny yourself, You are becoming a king. Yo, I'm a king, I'm a king, I'm a king. You ain't been through nothing to prove it. Y'all watching me for years overcome my opposition. You watch me be crucified, thrown in jail, come out of jail, and I'm still going, I'm still strong, I'm still here. I've proven that I'm a god. I've proven I'm a king. I still rise. My baby mother's talking shit about me, took my daughter away from me. Women are attacking me, people are attacking me, and then still I rise. And my trials aren't even over with, and you're watching it publicly, and still I rise. They can't break me. I keep coming up. They took me, they put me in, they They got me deported back to the States. They kicked me out of Hawaii. And still, here I am. Huh? I come on this app. They rip me and tear me down all day, every day. And still, I come on here and rise. You watch them. Even you go in some of these rooms and are ashamed to own me. Because that's the kind of pressure that's on the head of a king. You go into these rooms and you look around and you start to say, Huh? You can't even stand my, you can't even stand in my shoes in these rooms. You start, you start listening, Nick, it start getting to you. You start seeing all the love they get. You start seeing all the hate you get. And immediately, How are you a king and you can't take pressure? How are you a queen and you can't you can't take the pressure? Because the opposition will define you and you ain't even starting to be a king if you ain't got the hate. 
and the opposition against you. Because the, op the greater you are, the more opposition must come up against you. It is the natural law of things, black man. This is a psychological warfare. Psyche meaning mind, logical. How logical can your mind be? This is rigged for you to fall, black man. You are the head. And they have used your woman. I'm reading you the, the Willie Lynch letter. You are God, black man. They're using everything they can to make sure you don't rise. And it's all in you. It starts with the seven deadly sins.